Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a quick review on the Zotac Z-Box uh, BI320 uh, Where they come up with those numbers, I have no idea But anyway, a uh, little background For my home theater down here, I have everything in a rack behind me uh, It doesn't matter how big it is, how loud it is uh, It doesn't matter what it looks like It's all out of sight, but for my upstairs living room I need something that uh, is small you know, blends in with a little entertainment center and is easy to use for my family. First I had a Roku. It could output Dolby and uh, DTS, you know, 7.1, which was great. But the downsides were it was a little slow and you only had one view. There was pretty much no customization. What you had is what you had. I mainly used the media browser and the Flex app and it worked really well with both. Next up, I got the Google TV box by Asus, the Cube and honestly it kind of sucked. It uh, constantly froze. My family was constantly having to pull the power and reboot it, sometimes two or three times. Uh, the remote had little buttons on the side, uh, one to activate the mouse cursor and the other to activate the voice commands, uh, which was a terrible place to put them because every time somebody picked it up they would hit one or the other. Uh, I constantly got phone calls at work, you know, the box isn't working, what do I do? It really wasn't working. So after that, I grabbed a uh, Amazon Fire TV stick, which worked pretty good. I mean, it did have to be rebooted now and then. Uh, it did have some major downsides, though. As I said, I used Media Browser and Plex on it. The Media Browser app had to be sideloaded. Uh, it's not officially out there yet for the Amazon Fire. Uh, it could only output two-channel sound. I had several instances where it would want me to re-log in with the Media Browser Connect. If you're not familiar with that, it's where the uh, app connects to your server without actually having to specify the address, you just put in a PIN. Uh, sometimes it would ask you to go to the website and put the PIN in again, and the PIN that it gives you to put in would be blank. Kind of strange, don't know. But usually a few reboots and it would start working. Then with Plex, uh, it also had some issues where uh, it would stutter. Every couple minutes, you get some pixelation, the video would jump, the sound would stutter. Uh, very random, but if you're watching a movie, you can see 14, 15 times per movie, and it gets pretty annoying. The other thing uh, with both Media Browser and Plex on the Amazon Fire is they can only output two-channel audio. Uh, you know, if you have just a TV running to TV speakers, uh, sure, that's fine. But if you have, you know, a left, right, center, and surrounds, it doesn't sound so good. Which led me to look for building an actual full home theater computer up there. My fiance wasn't really keen on the idea of having a computer up there. Uh, we have very limited room, as you'll see here in a minute. So I started looking at the uh, small form factor PCs. And Intel has a nice one. The uh, NUC or NUC, however you say it. But they're like $400. And I wasn't really willing to spend that much. So that's when I came across these uh, Zotac boxes. They uh, have a dual core Celeron, which I know is not the most powerful CPU in the world. But uh, you're not going to be running Crisis on this either. This is strictly as a home theater and maybe web browsing from the couch type thing. Uh, they have a dual core Celeron 1.4. comes with 2 gig of RAM, but it does have an extra slot, so you can add an extra 2, 4 gig, whatever. I did upgrade mine to 4 gig uh, just because I had one laying around. It didn't need it. It ran just fine by itself, but I figured, eh, why not? It's just sitting here. Uh, it comes with a 64 gig solid state drive. It also has a spot you can slide in, another 2.5 inch uh, small laptop hard drive to give it more space if you need it. I stream everything from my server, so I don't need it myself, but it's there if you do. Uh, you got the normal gigabit LAN, there is no wireless, uh, so you would need a wireless adapter, uh, USB, if you decided you wanted one. Uh, you have your normal uh, card readers for SD cards, etc. You get four USB 3.0s and two USB 2s. So you have plenty of room for expansion if you want to use external drives, uh, external mouse and keyboard, uh, gaming controller, whatever. But uh, anyway, I'm going to fire it up, show you guys how quickly it boots, and uh, just give you a quick run through of Media Browser and Plex on it and show you how it runs. Okay, everyone, so here's the box fired up. I'm going to reboot it real quick just so you guys can see how fast this thing really does move. And then uh, we'll do a quick run through of Plex and Media Browser just to show you how it runs. I 
the box actually might boot faster than my TV is able to do the HDMI handshake. Yeah, see that's already back up. I should also note that uh, it'll run Kodi or XBMC just fine as well. Uh, we just don't happen to use them. I do play around with it from time to time using the uh, media browser plugin for it. Anyway, first up, here's Plex. And as of right now, they're just using the default skin. I have played around with some of the others, and they all run nice and smooth. But uh, as you can see, it moves along through them just fine. No lag, no loading pictures. Uh, let's see. Agents of Shield. Let's start up the first episode here. Is out. As you can see, it runs just fine. Stayed in the shadows, hiding the truth. Now we know. And you can fast forward without any issues. So anyway, as you can see, Plex runs just fine. We'll go over the media browser real quick. Okay, so next we'll go over to Media Browser. And we've got our all our movies here. Let's see if we can skip over to something interesting here. Not playing. Let's see. 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 Let's to the main screen here. So as you can see, it moves around pretty good through all my movies. Uh, they have a lot of different views you can go through. I just happen to like the cover flow style. Another neat thing they have is the uh, video plug-in for the backgrounds. Kind of neat to have the uh, preview for the movie playing in the background when you're thinking about it. Anyway, so back to uh, the Z-Box here. I picked up the Z-Box on Newegg on sale for 150 bucks. Uh, as you can see, runs Plex, runs Media Browser really well. Uh, you can also run Kodi or XBMC, J River, whatever you want. Uh, it should handle all of them with ease. But uh, bang for the buck, it's about the best one out there I could find. And if you're just looking for strictly a home theater box, uh, whether you want to run you know, Windows 8 like I am, or use a Linux distro for XBMC or Plex has one too. Uh, you can make it a complete self-contained box. But I kind of like the fact that you know, I can go to the desktop, you know, I can use a mouse and keyboard, I can surf the internet on my big screen. But uh, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.